to bring out our first guest. You know her from her iconic roles in 21 Jump Street and hanging with Mr. Cooper. We're so excited she's here today. Y'all give it up for the amazing Holly Robinson P. And now you, you have kids. How many kids you have? Uh, four. Four. Uh, but they're not kids anymore. They're, uh... How old are they now? They're grown. My youngest is 18, and the twins are 25, and the middle boy, that's my baby, just turned 18. Oh. And the middle boy is uh, 20. So, like, yeah, 25, 25, 20, and 18. Amazing. Now, your youngest, is that the one you went in labor with at the Oscars? Yes, thing? that's that boy. <laughs> so what, the one, and by the way, you might have had something to do with this, because that's the one I was on bed rest with. Because of you and an Idol. Um, <laughs> I went to an Oscars party at uh, Crustacean. It's a restaurant out uh -huh. here. And, and honey, they serve this low-down garlic noodles that are so good, right? <laughs> Nine months pregnant, really out, doing too much. Probably should not have been out. Um, but I had to get them noodles, right? So I went and got the noodles. And it's an Ebony Magazine party, so everyone in Black Hollywood is there, uh -huh. right? So I'm tearing my noodles up and mm, get my noodles. And all of a sudden, my water breaks. Oh, That's when the this water This is the picture? Oh, no, because Arnold Turner, who is a photographer that we all know in Hollywood, was snapping away. And I was so mad at him. But now, of course, I love these pictures. <laughs> but wait, so I'm sitting there, and there's a tablecloth wrapped around me. But what you didn't see was Samuel L. Jackson was sitting next to me. But my water broke all over his shoes. And so he... <laughs> so, you know, every time I see him, you see him, he said, I want a new... You owe me a new pair? <laughs> You owe me a new pair of <laughs> shoes. I'm done. Every time. The boy is 18 years old, and every time I see Sam, he ain't gonna he's let like, it go. Where my, my new <laughs> shoes? What? It, um, so, so that was crazy. And then every, I went out into, you know, on the street, and I'm on this gurney. Look, there I am on the gurney. <laughs> And they're taking me out, and I'm holding a black. <laughs> look, look, I'm holding a blackberry. That's how long that that was. Long ago that was. And um, I went to the hospital, and then you know had had Roman, but I, I always laugh because he has this curly, curly hair. I mm -hmm. think it was the noodles. <laughs> you funny. <laughs> you hilarious. Is 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 Samuel L. at least the Godfather? Then? You know, I should have made him the Godfather because. <laughs> <laughs> did happen all over his shoes, but he took my car home that night, him and his wife, Latanya, like, they were so lovely. I should, probably should have done that, but uh, I, I, just, so. I just got to get him a new pair. Yeah, <laughs> after 18 years. Right, right. Maybe we could get him to get them shoes here. Right. That is hilarious. Isn't that funny? Oh, my God. Now, you're an icon, like, right? Yes, you are. Oh. <laughs> an iconic career. Like, do your kids, did they ever realize who their mom is? You know how kids are. I don't know about yours, yeah, no, but like, they, don't, they don't really think you do anything, yep. right? Or, yep. They just have an, uh, really not much of appreciation of what you do. But when I got my star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame and they were running down, <laughs> you know, running down like, oh, you did this, you did this, you did this. They were like, oh, mom, okay, you did something, you did, you did something. <laughs> But how about when I got a part on The Proud Family, Louder and Prouder? Mm. They thought, oh, I played Dr. Lord, an autism doctor, and I mean, my kids thought, I've got an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony like you. <laughs> like, that was <laughs> my EGOT moment for my kids. Um, and so, but I loved being on that show because um, I got a chance to diagnose the baby with uh, mm. autism as the doctor, and my son has autism, and that day was not good. I was told all these things my son would never be, and I always felt like I wish I had gotten a different diagnosis. So I almost got to reimagine the diagnosis mm. through Proud Family, so I'm so excited about that show. Wow. And that wow. Hello. Wow. I cannot Hello. answer. Hello. 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 Oh, my God. I know what it's like to have a really good love in your life. We are not a perfect couple. Lord knows we're not. There's going to be bumps in the road. There's going to be highs. There's going to be lows. But the one thing that we've always been on the same page about is that our love is worth fighting for. Give me some. Yes. <laughs> Wait, you missed me. There you go. <laughs> it looks so fun. We're back with Holly Robinson's feet.
Can you tell everyone what Queen's Court is about? So Queen's Court is a dating show uh, where we bring together three women that everyone knows who have lived their lives out loud, right? They've gone through some things, right, mm -hmm. publicly. And they're in their 40s now, and it's no more play play. It's time for them to find somebody for them. Uh, and Rodney and I host, but we don't just like direct traffic and tell them what they're going to do and where they're going to go on their dates. But we also sort of act as kind of like, like, like therapists a yes. little bit, in that we say to them, hey, all right, we know you coming in here going, I need a man that look like this, da, 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 da. throw that list away and just open yourself up. I, you know, Rodney was not my type when I met him. You know, so I gave him a chance to try to be my type. Mm. <laughs> and, you know, we, we're about to celebrate, ah. you know, and so we're about to celebrate our, our, our 28th anniversary coming up. So congratulations. And so like I said in there, I mean, we're not perfect, right? We've been through some stuff. Mm -hmm. Lord knows we've been through some stuff, so we just felt like it would be great to counsel them and talk to them. And then Rodney was talking to the guys, and you know, I love it because it kind of worked. Like, it kind of worked for, if you guys haven't seen it, spoiler alert, there are some relationships that come out, and, but it, we, were, we loved doing it. We really enjoyed it. It shows. Yeah. It's amazing. And I want to know, because you guys have been married, like you say, you're coming up on your 28th wedding yeah, anniversary. 28th. Do you, th yes, give it another hand. <laughs> Do you think it would be different if you grew up and like started in the social media era? Oh, we, I, we, I would have <laughs> never made it because I'm too nosy. <laughs> I would have been looking at them and tracking them and looking at where they were and showing up places. Cause Rodney was. <laughs> My husband was monogamously challenged before he met me. <laughs> he had some monogamy issues, uh -huh. so we had to work through them. And if we had to work through those, like you know, publicly on social media, that would have been rough. So I do feel badly for people who are like, you know, living in this age now because it's just like everything's out there. Yeah. And, uh, but, but yeah, I, think that, I don't think we would have, I don't think we would have made it. Mm, see, I had to ask that question. Yeah. Okay, so the show clearly works because it's two engaged? Two of them are engaged two, now? Two are engaged. <laughs> Y'all are some good coaches. And, you know, I'm not gonna take credit for it, but I do know that when they did reach out to us to say, mm, I'm not sure about this, or this one got a baby mama, I'm like, okay, well, you, you got two baby daddies, so now what, what? <laughs> Paint the, put it in perspective like, it's for okay. Them. Like, we, this judgment of having more than one husband or wife or baby mom, like, let that go, because people, just like y'all are trying to change, so are these gentlemen. So mm. I just l thought it was a great social experiment. It is, and yeah. it felt like they got the right example sitting in front of them. I think so. Like, it was a perfect fit for both of us. First, Rodney was like, what are you getting me into? But then, by the end, he was like, okay, so what happened with Evelyn? <laughs> and what happened with, and let me go talk to him. Like, he was way too invested. I was like, okay, calm down, Sprite, calm down. <laughs> that was fun, that was fun. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.